Now entering Stone Hill. All the frickin' gold I found in my last mission. Wonder what I could buy with 88 gems. A whole lot of nothing. You would be surprised, or you would think, like, these dragons had different worlds and they would be relatively cool or than what they are now. Uh, look at it, I mean. Who keeps their. I, I guess cuz, uh, what's his face? Locked them all up and just randomly keeps all their treasure just stored every which way. I mean, he went through all the trouble of just, you know, stealing and, tra and trapping them and then stealing all their gold and just places it all in their worlds. Be like, heh, fuck you guys. I'm gonna scatter all your gold everywhere. What purpose would I need all these gems for in a world that has no economic values of any sorts? There's not even economies around. And I'm probably betting, like, later on in the game. It's been a while since I've played this. Later on, there's city freaking maps and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like... Okay, well, if everybody is one of his drones, it really defeats the purpose. I mean, what, what is the point of being an emperor? He's just like, fuck these dragons, fuck their seed. I'm just gonna turn them all Watch crap. The dragonfly spiral. And then this guy, look his at color him. Indicates his power. Providing as equally useless information as always. Strong. Swear. Like uh... Sure. And there comes the subtle dialogue of uselessness. Awesome. Let's continue the trend by all means necessary. Look, and the only one that survives is this tiny little dragon. Yeah, so I mean, I guess that's a, there's a point in it. Everybody always suspects the lesser of them. Let's just fucking jump down here again. I hate these. I forgot all about them. You need to freaking find keys and shit for them. They're fireproof and ramproof, and pretty much just means you have to go back into the game later on. And remember to go get them if you want to complete, like, total freaking, well, freaking completion. Nonetheless, look at these guys, man. Who, I, I guess these guys were under the portate of thumb of the dragon. So he's just like, hey, listen, guys, you can help me. And I'll let you freaking tell these guys to go eat dick. You can keep their gold and you, that's all you're worth. He paid them all beforehand, too. That's what he's doing. Because, I mean, what are they going to do with gems? Fuck all nothing, that's what. Master! Hey. After you freed all the dragons, pass through oh, this yes. fancy yes, vortex uh, thingamay, Jigger. Mm. It'll take you back to the artisan home. Vast wealth first of knowledge for being century years No thanks. Old. See ya. I wonder how old Spiral is. Is he, a, is he just a freak of nature, dragon-wise? Like, he's just born... Tiny, scrawny, and kind of just doesn't have no real purpose to be a dragon besides just like the size of a donkey? Or is he just a teenager that has a bad attitude? I mean, especially as a ram, why would you suspect otherwise to, to go up head to head with a dragon? But nonetheless, right your ass, take that one. You want some more beef, wizard man? I'll fuck your couch, bro. Take that one. You want another? How about this one? Look at the sheep. I mean, I guess this, it's a plethora, a world. The dragons have evolved to such a degree that they do not need. We do not need new economies or currencies. We'll just have sheep everywhere and they will be devoured by us and our dragonflies. Like, what makes Spyro, I guess, I guess because it's like, well, Spyro, you were just born as a dwarf, so. We're gonna give you this dragonfly to compensate for your short stature, lack of power overall, and well, you know, guys, you're just a little bitch, and so we might as well give you something. Yo, Sparrow, my friend, how about a hit they on all, gliding? They're all free, you bet. and they well, give the longest glide. Each press the X button at the top of the jump, and try bit. pressing the triangle <laughs> button to drop you down need to do in this mid. This and do that and do this. Uh, I just freed your ass. Why are you telling me I need to do what you what you need me to do? I mean, <laughs> if that was, if it was that simple, why didn't you do it? But Aaron, that's the premise of the whole story. What are you doing? All right. Gosh, just missing out. This dragonfly's radius of grabbing stuff is just <laughs> asinine. But then again, I am criticizing a popular platformer, which was the first game. And I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, for what it was, it was mindlessly numb and just really pleasurable to play. But at the same time, you could feel the datedness of it. And then I forget, oh, heck, yeah, man. Oh, he's still the dragon egg. Now, the concept of dragon eggs, man, I just wonder. Does, uh, 
what dragons are doing what to have eggs? Are they just asexual? Or, you know, are most of these dude dragons just getting it off with one another and <laughs> just, just having baby dragon eggs and it's like, oh, <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> we have all the body parts necessary in our dragon kingdom. We were afford afforded this sort of luxury. I just don't know. I question I question the motives of these dragons. Oh wait, I can go back that way. What am I doing? Okay. Just I just the whole concept of the dragon worlds. I guess I should have been like I would be appreciated appreciate I, I did. I when I was a kid I appreciated the concept of Oh, I'm playing as a dragon. This is so much fun. I wish I wish I could do this a whole lot more. I wish I could kill dragons. Later on, twenty twenty. Or hindsight, it's twenty twenty, man. Ended up killing dragons. Who knows, maybe Spyro, I mean Spyro killed him own self, I mean look at all of his games. Ripto's Rage is really nice, I remember that one. I gotta find that one day, but nonetheless, look at all these gems, look at them all, they just, they just put them all on. Those barriers, man, they're like, in, uh, I guess they are invisible, invisible world barriers, but I mean, like, it makes you just wonder, did they just, why not just build a wall, keep the aesthetic of the place the same way? So then it's just not like, invisible barrier, you can't get out of here. What are you doing? Well, you can't go this way. Stop it, dragon. Stop it. Uh, stop it. The magic. And the dragons have, the dragons don't possess magic. So I guess they've just acquired the arcane idea of magic. And they've incorporated it in the world. Because, I mean, these dragons don't have servants either. I mean, there's like, what, there's a hundred dragons? When you free a dragon kinda... or step on one of their platforms, yeah. you're saving your progress. That could be useful Here if you go. run Equally, into trouble. Uh, useless information. Not still, that yeah. you ever run into trouble, Spyro. But, I mean, they, they don't have servants. They don't have anything. They have hoarders of gold, nonetheless. But they don't have gold. They have gems. So, I mean, there's that. I mean, there's... So, what, I mean... What is the whole... I don't know. I, I guess when I play this game, I look too critically into what's going on in the background and all. Nonetheless, I was surprised immensely by the controls. I mean, I just thought they would be real dated and I would be bothered by them. I mean, charging is still <laughs> a little bit sluggish and then trying to glide and stuff, but also that's just my unfamiliarity with the game itself anymore. But you should have played when I was a baby, bye. I'm returning home. Does Spyro even have a house? That's my question. Hmm. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, go check out my other videos. I'm doing several vault videos of some archaic games. Also, my Fallout series, I'm working on some more, as well as Doom, and on my other videos, my Korean War documentary, and more. So be sure to check out the rest of my channel, and if you haven't, subscribe now. Thanks.